Hey everybody, it's Steve with More Simple DMX. Thanks for all the views and please subscribe. Recently, I was trying to find some new moving heads that were small and that had a more focused beam. And so I was looking at this LED beam light and this gobo light. And at first glance, they look similar. They're both inexpensive at under $60, but they're actually very different in the way that they work. I wanted to compare them in this video First unboxing, then going through the features, then looking at the DMX channels on each one, and then finally looking at them side by side with the hazer. The mini beam light comes in this four color litho printed package that looks like it was really made to be displayed on a retail shelf. Inside, Here's the light. It also comes with the power cord, manual, DMX cable, which is a nice touch, and mounting bracket and screws. Now the Gobo light comes in more of the traditional packaging that I'm used to with the TomTop products. And it's got the manual, power cord, mounting bracket and screws. And there's the light. The mini beam light has four three watt LEDs, one each for RGBW for a total of 12 watts that get focused through this lens for a six degree beam angle. And there's a fan on the back of the head itself. On the back of the unit, there's an on off switch, power mains in, and a DMX in and out. On the front are the basic menu controls where you can set up all the functions. There's an auto run function, fast and slow, a sound active mode, DMX where you can set it for 11 or 13 channel, and a master slave mode. And then deeper into the programming functions, you can also reverse the pan and you can initialize certain parameters. The Gobo light has a single 30 watt LED that can be focused through this manual focus ring. The beam angle on it is 11 degrees. The back of the head has a heat sink. The back of the unit has power mains in, DMX in and out, and a small cooling fan. The front has a similar menu control. Here you can set up an auto or show mode, sound active mode, a DMX mode either in 9 or 11 channel, and a master slave mode. Similar to the mini beam, you can reverse the pan function, but there's also a few functions that the mini beam doesn't have. You can set the microphone sensitivity for the sound active mode, and there's also a temperature display. So let's look at the DMX channels on the mini beam. This thing programs more the way I'm used to with the color being controlled by RGBW lights. I've got it set up to a DMX starting address of one. The controller is set up to control scanner one, which has that same starting address. And so going through the channels, starting with channel one, that's pan. Channel two is a fine pan. Channel three is tilt. Channel four is a fine tilt. Channel five controls the pan and tilt speed. So if we increase that value, the panning is gonna be slower. If I go even higher, it's gonna be slower yet. A low value makes for a really fast pan and a really fast tilt speed. Channel six is dimming. So I'm going to bring the dimmer up and I'm going to bring the red channel up. We'll turn it around so we can see it a little bit better. Let's pan down. And channel seven is a strobing function. So high values, a faster strobe, low values, a slower strobe. Going now to the second page of the controller, channel nine is green. Channel 10 is blue, channel 11 is white, and in 13 channel mode, which I have the light set to, channel 12, the manual says that it's P 
pick colors, which I didn't know what that meant, but it appears to be uh, just putting it into auto mode, a fast auto mode and a slower auto mode, depending on what kind of value you're sending. And then channel 13 is a reset mode. I've never had a gobo light before, but the way that they work is different than LED lights. You get the different colors and patterns by gobos that are rotating. I've got this one set to a starting address of 17, which matches scanner 2 on the controller. The first channels work very similar to the mini beam or my other moving heads. You've got pan on channel 1, fine pan on channel 2, tilt on channel 3, fine tilt on channel 4, but this is where everything changes. Let's bring up the dimmer on channel 8 so we can see this thing and we'll swing it around and so now to change the colors, we're actually going to be changing the color on the gobo wheel. So on channel 5, I'll show you, when you flip this, you can actually see the colors changing in front of the light. And the top values on this actually give you the ability to cycle through the colors fast to slow or slow to fast, depending on what values you're sending from the controller. And so channel 6 picks it's the gobo pattern, again, depending on what value. And there's settings where you can set uh, a pattern and have it jitter, or you can also have it cycle through the patterns slow to fast or fast to slow, just like the colors. Then there's a strobing function that has a standard kind of strobing, different speeds and different strobing effects with fade-ins. This one's really slow. And then there's the dimmer, which is on channel 8 that we looked at before. Now, when we go to channel 9, that's the pan and tilt speed, which I don't have to show you, but that's similar to the mini beam. And then channel 10 has a variety of different functions. One of the ones that you can access at the higher values, 250 to 255, is uh, you can turn on sound active mode. So when it's turned on, you can set it that way from the controller. And then on channel 11, it has different profiles for different applications. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. And now with the haze machine going, let's see what kind of beam these lights really throw.